So what I'm going to be doing in this video is comparing the camera setup of the Honor 90 against the OnePlus Nord 3, its closest, most fiercest competitor. Actually, this video is a part of the Honor 90 review. Since that video was going really long, I decided to separate the two and make a separate camera comparison instead. Because if there's one thing that the Honor 90 deserves, it's a separate camera review. So that's exactly what we are going to be doing in this video. But there's also a detailed review, like I mentioned, which will go live a little later after this video goes live, and I'll link it over over here. So let's get down to business if you're here for the very first time. I'm Ashad, you're watching Track and Take English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. So to start off, the 200 MP camera on the Honor 90 captures very naturally sharp details. I absolutely love it. OnePlus's algorithm tends to over sharpen. Sometimes that looks good, but in certain scenarios, there are micro details like leaves on trees, which look slightly overdone. Now OnePlus's HDR performance was good to begin with, but Honor improves upon that. In this indoor shot within the mall, you can see a slightly better control over the highlights on the Honor 90. But in the second shot, the shadow detail is nearly identical on both. But again, if you look at the highlights, it is so much better on the Honor. But what I particularly like about Honor's processing is the color accuracy and the color temperature that it picks. I mean, just look at this plate of chicken thali. The OnePlus brightens and oversaturates everything where Honor maintains the color accuracy of every single item on the plate. And in the second sample, the reds, the blues, the greens are slightly enhanced on the Nord 3, but the Honor 90 is more accurate. Although I must say the Nord 3 doesn't look too bad, but it does tend to saturate a little bit. If you want technical accuracy, then Honor 90 does it better. However, when it comes to pictures of people, I really love Nord 3's skin tones. OnePlus has nailed the skin tone accuracy with this phone, and it just reminded me of the time when I reviewed the Nord 3. If you haven't watched that yet, a link should pop up right now. Now, Honor skin tones are not bad per se, but but the red skin problem is there and Honor could have done it slightly better in my opinion. Now when you're shooting people against the light, both offer fantastic HDR performance with the right amount of exposure on the face without blowing out the background. But the skin tones on OnePlus are great, actually close to natural once again. Also OnePlus's portrait algorithm has been improved by leaps and bounds. It is absolutely fantastic. Just look at the gradual bokeh drop off of the slanted uh, you know, background here. Honor S90 bokeh drop off is not too bad, but it is not as impressive as OnePlus. Even the edge cutout is more accurate on OnePlus. Now moving on to low light pictures, OnePlus's night mode has been tuned so well over the years that it has become really, really good. Honor's night mode is good too, but it's not as good as OnePlus is what I noticed in certain scenarios, but sometimes it also beats the OnePlus. Generally, what I notice with OnePlus's pictures is that you'll see more details in the shadows. Honor, however, does keep things more natural with the colors. In the second picture, the low light HDR is superb on Honor and OnePlus comes in a close second. Also, what I like about Honor is that when you close in or zoom in on the car, it keeps the noise in favor of the details, where OnePlus's noise correction algorithm tends to smoothen out some of the details. Again, if you notice the color of the car is exactly white on the Honor, but it's slightly green on OnePlus. Basically, what OnePlus is doing is that it's adding a noise correction algorithm and therefore there's some luminance noise being added in the picture as well, which is slightly green in color. So when it comes to low light performance, OnePlus makes brighter pictures, but Honor does technicalities better. But there's one problem on the Honor 90, and that is the lack of OIS, which is actually present on OnePlus. Now in this sample, I actually wanted a tag sharp image, but unfortunately it came out blurry. So what you need to note is that generally with the Honor 90, you will get more blurred shots in the night compared to any other phone that has OIS, just like the OnePlus Nord 3. Now, ultra wide angle camera is of higher resolution on the Honor 90, therefore it is sharper for sure, but the HDR performance is equally matched on both. The colors are slightly more consistent with the primary camera too on the Honor 90, where OnePlus's tuning is slightly off. Low light performance is also tuned better on the Honor 90's ultra wide. Now, this ultra wide angle camera on the Honor 90 also offers autofocus, and with that, you get great super macro shots. So, you get 0.6x, 1x, and 2x macro capture, which is way, way better than the really bad 2MP camera on the OnePlus. All right, talking about selfies, the 50MP selfie camera on the Honor is one of the best that I have ever tested. It also has a super wide lens, basically, you get a 100 degree field of view as well. So you can shoot at 0.8x and you can shoot at 1x as well. The skin tones are closer to accurate on the Honor 90 compared to the OnePlus, which is a twisting of tails because, you know, OnePlus had better skin tones than Honor with the primary camera. Moreover, you also do get a lot of details. The selfie HDR is also so good. Now, this image is a very difficult image to capture because it has me in a white shirt and a brightly lit up sign on the rear. Honor has nailed the scene where OnePlus hasn't. Even the low light performance is so much better on Honor 
compared to OnePlus. All right, moving on to video recording. On the Honor 90, you can shoot a max of 4K 30 FPS using the front camera and the rear camera as well. But don't let the lack of 60 FPS deter you because you get that in the 1080p resolution. And with 4K 30 FPS, you get electronic image stabilization too, which is not available on OnePlus at 4K 30 FPS or 60 FPS. One thing I must mention here is that when you're recording videos, OIS doesn't matter as much as EIS does and therefore Honor does it better with respect to stabilization. So when you look at the Honor's video recording quality, it has more details, better HDR, better stabilization and of course, better sound recording as well. Now I've dropped down the frame rates to 30 FPS on the Nord 3 as well. Now I've dropped down the frame rates to 30 FPS on the Nord 3 as well. Even on the front, you get 4K 30 FPS with stabilization on the Honor 90 and 1080p 60 FPS too. In fact, since the lens is so wide, you do not get too much of a crop either and you don't necessarily need to hold your hand too far out to get you in the frame as well, which is a very good thing. Honestly, if you're looking at it, I like the balanced video performance of the Honor 90 compared to the OnePlus Nord 3. So overall, the Honor 90 has good camera performance, I'd say, especially when it comes to the primary camera colors, details, HDR, and low light performance. And when you look at the selfie or the ultra wide or the macro performance and the video recording, again, the Honor 90 is definitely better than the OnePlus. The OnePlus, on the other hand, does fantastic skin tones with the primary camera. The HDR performance is also very good. And so is the low light performance. So basically, when you compare the two, what I noticed is that OnePlus has flashes of brilliance where Honor has a more balanced camera tuning. But if you were expecting the Honor 90 to be the best camera phone in its price class, I don't think that might necessarily be true. It's definitely a good camera phone for sure. Also, by the way, Honor 90 has a lot of extra camera features as well. For example, you can shoot portrait video. You can also shoot dual video at the same time too. So hopefully this camera review would have given you an idea of what the Honor 90's camera performance is like. And once you've watched this video, don't forget to check out the review of the phone as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.